Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, July the 20th and the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verse 9 to 24. Matthew chapter 26, verse 1 to 26 and the Song of Zechariah. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, have mercy on me, O God, for I am in distress. Alleluia, Psalm 31. Have mercy on me, O God, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes, my throat, and my heart. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighs. Affliction has broken down my strength, and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbors, and of fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like the dead, forgotten by all, like a thing thrown away. I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Let me not be put to shame, for I call you. Let the wicked be shamed. Let them be silenced in the grave. Let lying lips be mute. That speak haughtily against the just with pride and contempt. How great is your goodness that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of all. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from human plots. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed are you who has shown me such a steadfast love in the fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said in my alarm, and yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love God, all you saints. God guards the faithful, but in turn will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all who hope in God most high. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, O God, for I am in distress. Alleluia. Psalm 31. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 26, beginning at verse 1. Now when Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. And then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas, and they conspired to arrest Jesus by stealth and to kill him. But they said, Not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. Now while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly perfume, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when his disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a very large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. And then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, 
What will you give me if I betray him? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray Jesus. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for the Mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for our Christian unity, for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, for this gathering and for all people, for our peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people and for justice and peace for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, those in prison, and those in any need or trouble. For all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially Louise and John David, and for all who died. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, for you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant, David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old, you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. And this was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.